thinking about studying in Germany in 2026, but don't want to waste time on a degree that ends up collecting dust. Good. Because today, I'm showing you 5 courses that are seriously in demand right now. If you choose one of these, you won't just get a certificate, you get a career, a future and a real chance to thrive in Germany. So let's dive in. Now the first one on my list is IT and computer science, especially in areas like AI, data analytics, cyber security, unless you are sleeping under a rock. It's not a breaking news that AI is now the new hot thing and every country, especially first world countries, everyone is scrambling for the next big thing now. Everyone wants to lead the race to the future and AI is, is leading the charge. So if I come here and I tell you that AI is not the first on my list, you should know I'm just lying to you guys. You get what I'm saying? And I don't want to lie to you. So artificial intelligence is number one on the list. I'm not going to lie. especially cyber security, coding, AI, like I said, cloud engineers, data analytics. These are hot courses in Germany right now. These courses are very, very hot. And the sweet thing is the demand is actually more than the supply. That's the honest truth. So what this means for you is you don't really need German in this kind of field. That's why I put it as number one. You don't really need German. Of course, it's good to learn the language, but generally most companies would even accept international students as long as you have the required skill that they're looking for to, you know, to perform in this particular field, the doors is going to be open for you. But this is where many people get it wrong. You think just because you have a degree is all you need. No. This particular field, you need to show practical skills. They need to see that you've actually done something with whatever degree, whatever experience that you say you have, especially if that experience was not in Germany. You get what I'm saying? You need to demonstrate that you have that skill, you have the technical know-how in this particular field. You get what I'm saying? Your certificate, unfortunately, will not help you in this situation. I mean, not like it will not help you, but it will not keep you in this job. Do you get what I'm saying? You need to demonstrate that you have experience, especially if that experience was not in Germany. You get what I'm saying? So what you need to do is, if you know this thing, teach it. You know, open a social media platform, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Teach people how to code or how to, you know, how to become a cybersecurity expert. Do these things because they will look you up. Or if you cannot do that, do freelancing. Just do something or volunteer to do a project. They need to see that you've done something in Germany. This would open doors for you, I promise you. So don't sleep on it. This is a hot kick. But don't think that just your degree, I uh, have a certificate in cyber security or I have a certificate in cloud engineering, that's going to be enough. No, it will not be enough. Show skills, okay? Lead with value. Show, demonstrate. Show them that you've done something with it. And then you can now command whatever you want to command after. That is how you win in this field. Okay, that's what I put as number one because you don't really need German in it. Now, the second one is healthcare and nursing. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This one was supposed to be number one, but because of the language thing, that's why I put as number two. Now, as we all know, Germany have a very aging population. They need a lot of people to help them to take care of their elderly people. And there is a wide gap between demand and supply. This is actually the most sought after field in Germany. And I'm telling you that. So if you have any experience in any medical field, nursing, doctors, physiotherapy, what, as long as it's in the medical line, I promise you, you are a hot cake. The only caveat to this is you need language proficiency. Very, very important. This one, you cannot even negotiate it. You need language proficiency in this field. Now, pay attention to this. If you can speak German and you have experience in this particular field, I will never advise you to come to the study route. Apply through Ausbildung. You will 10x your chances. I'm telling you, if you are watching this video right now and you need someone that will help you to get a job, click on the link that's in the comments below and book a consultation with me today. I can guide you. I can help you how to get an Ausbildung. I did a complete video on it. I'm going to tag it here on how to get an Ausbildung. You're going to say this field is hot cake. So if you have any nursing experience and you know how to speak German, at least to a decent level, Level, maybe B1 or B2 and you are still aspiring to learn more please this is hot cake click on the link that's in the comments below and book a consultation with me I can guide you I can help you on what to do how to apply where to go and if you also want to come to Germany and you just need courses on how to study or you want someone that will guide you through the process also book a consultation with me 
and I can also help you. So like I said, this particular field is hot kick and if you can learn the language and you have experience in this field, you can command a very, very high salary. So don't sleep on this one. No. Now the third point is engineering. Now it could be automation engineering, it could be chemical engineering, it could be electrical engineering, it could be mechanical engineering. As long as it has engineering behind it, you're already a hot kick in Germany because Germany is one of the they have the best brands, BMW, Volkswagen, you know, the likes of that. They are all engineers. That's engineering brilliance. You get what I'm saying? And they are still doing more cars like that or, you know, more electronics like that. And that is what Germany is known for. Quality. The only thing about this field is the competition is very, very high. That's the truth because most Germans, this is what they love to do. This is what they love to practice. Engineering, that's what they love to do. You get what I'm saying? So, and there's also Ausbildung too, where you don't have to go to school. You can just go and do Ausbildung and then you, you, know, you get a certificate and then you can start practicing or start leveraging that experience to, you know, to apply to bigger companies. And like I said, there are many Germans that are also doing these things. So the competition is high. I'm not going to lie to you, but of course the demand is also high. You get what I'm saying? So if you study anything engineering, I promise you, you will be a hot kick. But like I said, you just try as much as possible to learn the language so that you can give yourself at least a competitive advantage. You get what I'm saying? But keep it in mind that you're also competing with Germans. So if you ask me, I will tell you, try as much as possible when you are studying to get an internship position or volunteer to do something. Do something with your hand. Let them see that you've had the German experience. That would also increase your chances. So if you can get an internship when you are studying, in fact, that will open the door for you. Or even if they work in student position, try as much as possible to get it. Don't waste your talents with McDonald's and Burger Kings and all those places. Try to get into the market while you are studying. You get what I'm saying? This is why networking is very, very important. Try, meet people, go to seminars, go to workshops, be active in your school community. Let people know you. Teach your experience if you can. Like I said, it's very, very important. Brand yourself so that by the time you come into the market, you are coming as an experienced person, not a novice person. Because this kind of field, Germans, they like to employ people that already have the technical know-how, like people that already have the German understanding of how things work you get what i'm saying so don't leverage your experience back home and think it's going to save you here most times they don't understand how things work outside of europe and that's the honest truth so try as much as possible especially if you are a foreigner coming from a different country that's outside of europe try to push for an internship position or try to push for a working student position while you are studying that opens a lot of opportunities for you and then learn the language on the side and then you know you are now a hot kick. You get what I'm saying? And also, I'm going to give another key. Don't focus on all the big companies in the beginning. Start small. Look for all these startups or, you know, these SMEs. Look for them and start from there. Then when you get that German experience, that should be your focus. Anything that will give you that experience. Once you are in, then you can leverage on that. And then the next on my list is sales and project management. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Every company needs salespeople. Every company needs a project manager. And that's the honest truth. So if you can also leverage your experience, of course, not back home, here in Germany, if you can leverage your experience in this field, you are going to be very, very good. The only difference is this field also requires a lot of you know, German proficiency. And again, you are also competing with Germans because so many of them are in this particular field. They call it BVL, BWL, that's the word, but in German it's called BVL in Deutsch. They have a German equivalent of this and the demand is high because there are so many of them that are studying this. So project managers, they need them a lot. If you can you know, get certifications like Scrum Master, for example, this will also 10x your chances, but you need to be able to speak German. You get what I'm saying? So German proficiency is very, very vital in this particular field, but there are so many opportunities. Business is a very, very large, broad field so you can delve into so many places every company they need sales people the people that can sell their product because if you don't sell you don't make money so if you can demonstrate this volunteer to do some things go to a workshop show them that you know how to sell with your experience back it up with that if you have a brand show them that you know how to do this online or offline if you cannot do that just demonstrate that you have the german experience you see that i'm, I'm clamoring on this german experience because when you send your cv the first thing that recruiters look for is have you been employed in germany have you done anything in germany you get what i'm saying that's what they look for if you cannot show them that then your chances is uh, i would say 70 30 
that they will take you seriously. But if you can show them that you've done something in Germany, ah, they now start to now go to the next player. Oh, do you have this skill? Do you have this one? Do you have this one? That's how they cross check it. Do you get what I'm saying? Especially if it's a real person and not AI that's reviewing your CV. You get so just so you understand what I'm trying to say. This particular field is hot cake, it's very, very relevant, but you need German proficiency. Okay, and also it's highly competitive, but the demand is also high. So, you know, pick your poison the way you want it. You get what I'm saying? And lastly, green energy and sustainable management. Now, pay attention to this one. This one is supposed to be number one. I'm not going to lie, but I put it as the last one because I wanted you guys to stay to the end, like I said. And the reason is because Germany is the one leading the charge now for green energy. Anything that has to do with climate change, environmental disaster, Germany is the one that is pioneering this particular movement in Europe and they want to be the one to champion it in the world. You guys hear of this, you know, Project 2030, Vision 2030, they want to make the earth, the world more habitable to people. And this is why this particular field is hot cake now. You can see so many schools are infusing business and sustainability management. You can see things like that. You will see even engineering, you see something like green engineering or green energy management. You get what I'm saying? So you can see that companies or schools are introducing this slowly because they understand that that's the future. So if you can also tap into this now, so if you have any experience with you know management or engineering or you don't mind switching to a new field and then you learn something new, this is a field that I want you to jump into. Don't forget, it is hot cake now. Germany is leading the charge and it's going to be hot going forward. You get what I'm saying? So these are the top five on my list. Of course, there are still more that I couldn't cover in this video. So if you want me to do a part two, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a part two. In case if your field is not covered, don't worry. There are still more, but I don't want this video to be longer than it's supposed to be. So you get what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to keep it short. So if you want a part two, let me know in the comments below and I'll make it happen. So like I said, if you want to come to Germany, I need someone that will guide you. Click on the link that's been in the comments below and I can also guide you. I can also help you. There are so many information that I've not been able to share because of the time frame. I don't want to keep this video too long. You get what I'm saying? So if you want more, book a consultation with me and I can guide you and I can help you. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you want to know how to get an Ausbildung in Germany for those that want to go into the medical line or engineering line, those, those are the top two for me. If you want to know how to get an Ausbildung in Germany, click on this video right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.